Welcome to the world according to me, AJ Tripp. And this is my 2018-2019 NBA preview and predictions um, show, I guess. Show, division show, video. Yeah, I mean, it is better. Video. Um, so, let's go ahead and just start right into it. Um, we're coming off a season where the, um, the Golden State Warriors pretty much dominated uh, the league once again. Uh, including a sweep of the Cleveland Cavaliers in the NBA Finals, which was very, very awesome. Loved it. Um, winning three out of the last four NBA titles. Um, so what happens now? What do teams do to try to beat uh, the, the Golden State Warriors? Where some teams go out and they revamp their entire roster, right? I mean, some teams even say, well, we'll just wait until they, they pass along. Some people try to use free agency, use the draft. It went down so many different ways. But can you really beat the Warriors? I, I, I don't know. I really don't know. They can't, the Houston Rockets came close last year. Many people have said that if Chris Paul didn't get hurt, that, there, that, that Houston likely would have beat them in the uh, you know in the Western Conference Finals. And uh, once again the Western Conference is still the more stacked and more dominant um, uh, league uh, conference. Um, but the Eastern Conference seems to be just it seems to be just top heavy once again. You know however I do think that it's not so it's not just so cut and dry that the Warriors are going to win. I think with the um, with some of the moves that were made this offseason, I think it is it is um, it is it, it is extremely um, good, you know, that we have an opportunity for um, diversity. Because um, that's one of the things that people have been talking about. You know, the last four years it's been the same four teams, Cleveland and Golden State. Well, it's more than likely probably not going to be Cleveland since LeBron James is left, right? And Golden State, I think, is more vulnerable, even though they've added to Marcus Cousins. Golden State is more vulnerable this year, you know, because you because they you know being in the finals four consecutive years, playing all of those games, might take a toll on them this season, and I think that it, it uh. With some, with some teams in the Western Conference have gotten better. Um, I think that could be that could be very interesting. Um, we we talk about let's, let's look at the teams in the Western Conference really quick. We talk about the Western Conference um, runner up, Houston Rockets. They lost Ariza and Bob Mute, but they've added they added Camilo Kamar, Anthony. Uh, I don't know if that's a plus or a minus. We'll have to see. Camilo is probably going to come up the bench. That's that's going to be very interesting to see how that works. Now, how does that help? Because last year they were pretty good on defense. Camilo Anthony is not known for his defense, so we'll have to see how that works out. Um, the team that Camilo Anthony left, the Thunder, they kept surprisingly kept Paul George, which is amazing. So they added some 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 other players as well. Um, Russell Westbrook right now, you know, a little bit hurt, but he's going obviously going to come back and be Russell Westbrook. Let's also see if he can average another triple double once again. You know, two consecutive years averaging a triple double. So let's see if he does it for a third consecutive year. I, I, I you know, I think he's already trying. I think, I think we can already say he's a Hall of Famer, but I think without question, uh, he gets he, he does it for a third consecutive year. You're talking about. Somebody who's a who, who who probably jumps into the top fifteen of NBA players of all time, and someone who's a first ballot Hall of Fame automatically. At least that's what I would say. That's not in, in my mind. Um, so I think with Carmelo Anthony gone, I think it actually might they might be better for the Thunder. I think the Thunder might actually be better. You know, a better co collective unit uh, with uh, with Carmelo Anthony gone. Um, Portland Trail Blazers, um, they still have their two guys, Leonard and McCullum. 
Uh, and they got their, their big man, Nurkic. So, uh, or is it Jokic? I forget, I forget which one is which. I forget, I forget which one, I forget which one is at where. Where is Jokic in Portland or is Nurkic in Portland? Whatever. They get, they get the big white guy. <laughs> they get the big creation white guy. <laughs> so, they, they got that guy and, um, they're, they're still going to be, uh, good. Um, you know, and all of this is based on, uh, health. You know, obviously, if someone gets injured, who knows, in any team. Um, and we get DeMarcus Cousins on the Warriors, who probably won't come back until after the All-Star break, because he's coming back from a torn Achilles tendon. Um, San Antonio, we had that big trade in the offseason, right? Kawhi Leonard to Toronto, DeMar DeRozan, now is in San Antonio. Fake, you know, and, and you just don't, it's almost like Bill Belichick, right? You don't go against Bill Belichick in uh, in the NFL. If, 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 if they lost, if, 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 if let's knock on wood, if, if Tom Brady would go down with an injury right now, right, you would still think that they're going to make the playoffs with their backup. I think it's Brian Hoyer. They will still make the playoffs with, with Brian Hoyer. Just like, you know, now, I know you say that. Now, they, they went 11-5 with Matt Castle and didn't make the playoffs. But I think that, that's one of those anomaly years. And I think the same thing here with San Antonio. You know, they, they, they've gotten rid of one of their top five players in the league, in Kawhi Leonard. That being said, I think that they are way more likely to um, to still make the playoffs just because of Popovich. DeMar DeRozan isn't that bad of a player. He's a pretty good player. LaMarcus Aldridge is still good. Paul Gasol probably has his, he's probably on his last year. And uh, they still get some other talent around him. And, and, and it's the pop system. So I still think San Antonio's there. Um, the Denver Nuggets, young upcoming team. You got the other white guy, <laughs> white guy. That I, 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 you know, so he's going to be good. Uh, I think that team's going to be maybe surprisingly good. Uh, Charles Barkley said it uh, last night. Um, and obviously, you guys have seen this another day. I'm recording this Wednesday. Um, and there are just, and oh, and, and let's, let's, let's not, let's not forget. The big story of the summer, right? One of the big stories, and that's LeBron James. LeBron James leaving uh, Cleveland and going to the Lakers. And I think the Lakers are going to be are going to be better. And, thing, and here's a story I think a lot of people are talking about, right? Last, last year, LeBron James took that Cleveland team to the NBA Finals, right? So this Laker team is it better than that Cleveland team? I don't know. That being said, though, uh, there's so much other talent there in the West that I don't think LeBron James can take the Lakers to not only the finals. I don't know if they can. I don't know if you can. I don't know if you can take them to the conference finals. Now that being said, I'm not going to be surprised if LeBron does it because he's LeBron, the second greatest player of all time. But I, 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 I don't. I just don't see it. And then there's this whole Jimmy Butler thing with the Minnesota Timberwolves, right? Uh, still going on. We have no idea what's going to happen with that. So we'll have to wait and see what goes on with him. Um, in the Eastern Conference, you know, the, the, the top teams seem to be Boston, Philly, and Toronto, right? Same as last year. Um, Boston are getting back their two stars, healthy Irving and Hayward. They get these two other upcoming stars in Brown and Tatum, and then they get that uh, that you know just dominant, uh, not dominant, but that that consistent veteran presence in Al Horford, and they got some good bench players in Aaron Baines, Terry Rozier, and Marcus Smart. So they seem to be the class 
of the Eastern Conference. Philly, the young bucks, still look like you know they were surprisingly you know great last year. They could you know even get better this year. So they didn't lose anybody. Markel Fultz is gonna is, is healthy and he's playing. I don't know about his shot, but we'll see what that happens with that. And of course, Toronto. When you get you know you may lose DeRozan, but then you get a top five player, Kawhi Leonard. This is this is gonna be interesting. It might it might take a month or two. They fired the coach of the year because listen, when you get swept by the Cleveland Cavaliers, you know you should. <laughs> You know, you know, you should. It, 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 you can't fire everybody. They fired the coach, and then they traded away the best player. So Cal Lowry there, Valanciunas there, and at, uh, at an end with uh, Baca and Leonard. We'll see what happens with, with you know with that and how they jail and what they become. Uh, hopefully, you know, Kawhi Leonard would hopefully want to play this year too. Hopefully, he doesn't feel bad. Um, and then we got some other teams. We got some teams that people are selecting surprise. The Washington Wizards are still Washington Wizards. You know, Wall and Beal, and and, and and at some point, I think Washington's probably going to have to, you know, you know, they're going to have to either piss or get off the pot, as the saying is. They're either going to have to, you know, go ahead and make the uh, conference finals or make the NBA finals, or they they really going to have to start trading away pieces. You know, and there's there's some infighting there too with John Wall and is does John Wall party too much? And there was me some talk about that. I'm not sure about all of that, but all I do know is I think Bradley Beal is such an incredible talent, and I would love for the Bulls to be able to get someone like Bradley Beal. You know, I really would. You know, I, I would like John Wall too. You know, he's not he's not he's not a bad player. He really isn't. You know, he's got some injury issues, but he's not a bad player. Um, the Milwaukee Bucks seem to be the, the team everybody goes to, you know, because Mike Budenholzer, who took an Atlanta team with no stars to the conference finals against Cleveland, right? Um, and then the best record in the league with basically no stars now has another another top five player in Giannis Antetokounmpo, and their group of guys, so a lot of people are selecting Milwaukee Bucks to make make a jump with his coaching efforts, and Giannis has said now he's going to now try to get more into the shooting of the threes and everything like that, so we'll see how that affects that, you know, I, and I think, you know, one thing that, you know, it does happen is that we have to see, he comes from the pop, you know, he comes from the pop three, so we will see if, if, if his system that took Atlanta and in, in that group of, 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 of misfits, you know, you know, if, if it took them from, you know, mid, you know, mid, mid range team to, you know, number one overall team in the Eastern Conference Finals, you will see what happens with them. If we can do that with the Milwaukee Bucks. Um, obviously, Cleveland is still around. Kevin Love is still there. They still got a lot of other players. They um, drafted Cullen Sexton. So, um, we'll see what they. I, I I I don't expect them to just fall off the tree. I really don't. Uh, I we'll see. We'll have to see where it goes. But I, I do think that uh, this team should could, could still be a very surprising, surprisingly good team. Indiana Pacers, Victor Oladipo, I think are still good. I think um, you know he he could see, he could maybe even turn out to be even an even better player than he was. Last year, so that's incredible. Now I missed the team in the Western Conference, the Utah Jazz. Donovan Mitchell. Don't forget about them. I'm not, everywhere. Um, so then you talk about um, any other teams that can be in the Eastern Conference. Miami. If if, my, if somehow Miami gets Jimmy Butler, I think they they they, they could be an up and coming team. Um, I think Atlanta. Atlanta is still rebuilding. My team, the Bulls, um, could possibly jump in there. I'm not sure. Larry Markman is out for a couple months with, you know, elbow sprain. So we'll have to, you know, we we'll have, have to see what, the, what you know what's going on with him. Um, uh, you know, there's just so many other teams I'm trying to think of. The New York Knicks. I don't know. You know, 
Christoph Porzingis. I mean, he may not even play this year because he tore his ACL. So why not just wait on him uh, until the 2019-2020 season when he when he'll be fully healthy? And also, the Knicks could also have like you know if, if I, don't, I don't know how bad they're gonna be. I don't know if they're gonna be bad enough to get the number one overall draft pick, but why not wait and see, right? And I see you can have this year that's a year to see. If they, if they can get a top three pick, if they can get a top three pick in the lottery, maybe. Look at the way you see. Brooklyn Nets should, 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 should still be um, rebuilding as well. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I really think it is. I think really think it is, is it is down to Boston, Philly, Toronto, and possibly Milwaukee in the Eastern Conference. Um, so, with all of that said, who am I choosing? I'll give you the Western Conference Finals, Eastern Conference Finals, and then I'll give you um, my finals. Um, the Western Conference Finals, I'm going to go Golden State. I'm actually going to go o- Oklahoma City. As I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to go there. I, I, I just I have a feeling, I just have a feeling that Houston is going to just take a step back. They're not going to be as good defensively this year as they was last year. And uh, I think Golden State is still the, you know, the cream of the crop. And I, I, I think Golden State will get past Oklahoma City, make, making them go for the fifth fifth consecutive year going to the NBA Finals. In the Eastern Conference Finals, I'm actually going to go. I'm going to go Philly over Toronto, and here's why. You know, there's talk, there's, there's a lot of talk about you know the Boston Philly in a rivalry, and ball and and, and 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 I see it, and it, it could definitely be that way. But I I, 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 I just I, I just have a feeling that Philly is just, just going to, with all this talk about it's being a rivalry and not, J.J. Reddick saying that they have to beat them in the playoffs for it to be a rivalry. I just have a feeling that they're going to do that. I have a feeling that it's going to be one of those things where Toronto's the number one seed, Boston's number two, Philly's number three. They're going to face in that semifinal round and Philly's going to get past them. And if Philly's going to get past Toronto, and they're going to make the NBA Finals. And you're going to have <laughs> the Golden State Warriors playing the Philadelphia 76ers. Um, and I'm going to go Golden State Warriors. Four in five years, a three-peat for the Golden State Warriors, becoming one of the greatest teams of all time, one of the greatest dynasties of all time, uh, and, and giving uh, another MVP to Kevin Durant, three consecutive finals MVPs, making him, submitting himself as possibly one of the, uh, you know, maybe the third greatest basketball player of all time. So now, really quick, let's go through the awards. I like to do these all the time. What's going to happen with all of the awards? So we have most valuable player. Um, I'm going to say Kawhi Leonard. If I'm going to have Toronto be the number one seed again, I think Kawhi Leonard might be what might, he might, have one of these uh, seasons where he's just, he, he's 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 thirty five, he's eight rebounds, and he's you know seven assists. This is one of these crazy ass seasons. You know Toronto with like a 60, 6, 67 win you know season. So I'm gonna go uh, as my most valuable player. Um, I just quite quite Leonard. I'm getting old, y'all. I'm getting old. Rookie of the year, I'm gonna go with uh, Aiden in, out in Phoenix. I'm gonna go with him. Uh, I think Phoenix could be a surprise team. Uh, they have great talent. Devin Booker is a fantastic talent. So is um, the kid Jackson, and they they, they traded for Ryan Anderson. Um, so uh, this, they could be a surprise team, but I think Aiden is gonna be a an absolute force to be reckoned with uh, down low. Uh, offensively and defensively, and I'm going to select Aiden as my rookie of the year. Coach of the year, I talked about Milwaukee, you know, being this, you know, surprise team. I want to go with Mike Bonehoser, but I actually am gonna, I'm just going to go with um, Brett Brown. I, say, yeah, I, I think that, again, you know, expecting... Um, you know, even though they'll probably they'll be voting for that award before 
the uh, the playoffs. I just think Brett Brown would, you know, he, he'll have Philly go on a, an incredible run that will make him the coach of the year uh, at some point this season. So uh, I'm going to select Brett Brown out of the 76ers as my coach of the year. Most improved pl player. I believe LeBron James. I think Brandon In Ingram is going to be the uh, is going to be the most improved player. I think Brandon Ingram is going to have one of those breakout years. He's going to be like he's going to have 18, 19 points, you know, nine rebounds, and he's he's going to be incredible. He's going to have like 43 percent from three. He's just you know he's going he's going to be one of the you know stars in the Western Conference. So uh, my most improved player is going to be Brandon Ingram of the Los Angeles Lakers. Six man a year. Now, even though Jamal Crawford was just signed by the by the Suns, I am going to go with Lou Williams, someone else who has won this for the Clip, Los Angeles Clippers. Now, I don't I don't expect the Clippers to be in the playoff run, so to speak, but I think Lou Williams. Uh, but this isn't something where you have to give it to someone who's on a winning team necessarily. Um, and that, that that really hasn't happened in the past. I actually think Lou Williams could be one of those plays where. He could lead the Los Angeles Clippers in scoring and coming off the bench. So uh, I definitely would see um, Lou Williams being a six man a year. Watch out for Dwayne Wade in Miami. Dwayne Wade is probably going to be coming off the bench. And there's a possibility that Dwayne Wade, with this possibly being his last year, could, could have one of those crazy years where he, he averages 20 points off the bench. So. Um, but I'm going with Lou Williams of the Los Angeles Clippers. The executive of the year, I don't know if you give it to Rob Polinka, if you give it to Magic Johnson, I don't know who, which one you give it to. But I'm just going to say he's going to come from the Los Angeles Lakers. You sign LeBron James, you sign all of those other talents, McGee and, and Beasley and, and, and Rondo and all of those things. And now you got Brendan Ingram, who I will be the most improved player. So I, I think this is probably going to be um, the Lakers, no matter, no, no matter, as long as they don't completely fall off, and LeBron James don't get injured again, knock on wood, or something like that. This, you know, this is going to be one of the, this is going to be one of the, the best stories. Showtime is back in Los Angeles. So I think you have to give it to uh, the Lakers front office, whoever they be, Rob Palenka or Magic Johnson. And finally, like I always like to do, uh, talk about my team, the Chicago Bulls. Um, I was very frustrated last year um, because they were tanking, and they were obviously tanking. And I, I, I'm just I'm, I'm not a fan of it. I had to deal with it with the Cubs, um, and, and 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 that was that was one situation because as much as I like baseball, to be very honest with you, and I, you know, baseball is only there really. You know, in my in my opinion, for me, it's only there to get you from the NBA Finals to the NFL preseason. That's it's it's only for that. You no, know, it's, it's it's only for that. You know, really thing. And 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 if and if if, if you can be entertained, you know, before and past that, then that's that's good. That's, that's good enough. You know, and then if God breathes here, you make it to the playoffs. You know, and that's that's fantastic. But you know, I'm not that big of a baseball guy, so I was able to tune out the um, the, the, the the tanking. I'm a bigger basketball fan than I am baseball fan, and the tanking last year I could not take it. I, I could not take it. So I'm hoping that this year is not like that. I'm hoping that this year is not like that. Now, do I expect them to be good or, or anything like that? No. I'm thinking uh, what, 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 I, what I expect this year, it, what, 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 and what I hope is just that I hope that they are competitive. And I hope they go out and I hope they I hope all 82 games they go out and try to win, or at least go out. And try to win every game until you're uh, officially eliminated from the playoffs. Once you are officially eliminated from the playoffs, if you want to sit, you know, Veen and and, and Markinen and and Carter, 
that's perfectly fine. But what 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 what, what, what I don't want is like I, I don't want them to be trying to trade off uh, Justin Holiday or Robin Lopez, you know, at the at the you know at the uh, deadline, if, 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 especially if they are if they are in it, like you know if, if they are like three or four games back from the eighth seed, you know, yeah, don't yeah don't don't white flag it. You know, don't you know? Don't try to make a trade to bring on somebody either. Just, just go with it. Just go with it, right? Unless, unless you are getting a, a a certifiable first round pick for Lopez and or Holiday, you're getting a first round pick in this next upcoming draft. Unless you are for sure getting that, but just don't trade away for like a second round pick. And a salary dump. I don't. Uh, no, don't do that. So I, I'm hoping that the Bulls just. The the ideal situation is that the Bulls they go out they try to win every game until they're officially eliminated. Maybe they end up with like a 35 and 47 record, something like that. They miss the playoffs and they're once again in the lottery or something like that. You know, or, or or they just barely missed the playoffs, and then they and, and, and they can make it up next year. That, that would be the best thing I think for me when it comes to the Chicago Bulls. So that's what I would like to see from my team. All right, y'all, that is it for this 2018-2019 NBA preview and predictions video. Post your comments down below. Tell me what you guys think. Give me your thoughts and predictions on what you expect to see in the season. Give me your finals uh, predictions. Who are you going to get to have an MVP? Give me all, all of your thoughts and predictions down in the comment section. And also give me your thoughts and, uh, on my predictions. Do you think I'm crazy to, for, for thinking that, you know, Toronto and Philly are going to be in the uh, Eastern Conference Finals? I, I know I, I know there are people out there saying, what are these guys smoking? <laughs> Don't you know Boston get all those, you know, all that, all that talent? But all that time doesn't make them a team. But anyway, um, so yeah, we just you know post that comments down below. Let me know what you guys think about this entire NBA season. Let's have a fun season. Let's enjoy. It. Let's 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 hope that we have uh, just a great entertaining year. And let's hope that we uh, you know we, obviously we're going to end up with a different um, finals. I, I, I'm not one of those that says that four years of, of Golden State versus Cleveland was bad. It wasn't. I think it was good. It was. It started a rivalry, unfortunately, because you know, um, Bron left Cleveland. That's no. It's really no longer a rivalry. But you could probably say that maybe Golden State versus LeBron is, is a rivalry. So we still have that, and we may see that in the Western Conference Finals. I'm not predicting, but we may see it. So let's hope we have a fun and entertaining 2019, 2018, 2019 season. Like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and it's always thank you guys so much for watching. This is your boy AJ Tripp signing off. As always, be good to each other, y'all. Be careful out there, and I am out. <laughs>